The dedication and bravery of the Royal Air Force during World War II is widely credited with helping shape the course of history. Among those defending Britain were volunteers from the black community in the Caribbean and Africa. Now, a brand new exhibition that aimed to tell their stories and celebrate the sacrifice made by so many. Ruth Banks reports. They came in their thousands to fight for Britain in her hour of need. Volunteers from across the colonies who swelled the ranks of the RAF and made a vital contribution to the war effort. It was the call in Jamaica that Britain needed help. And at that time, we had a certain amount of understanding and respect for the motherland. Neil Flanagan joined the RAF from Jamaica in 1943, serving as an engineer alongside Brits who'd never even seen a black man. They came and touched me to see if the colour come off. They came and rubbed up and I, they were surprised that I could speak English. It was shocking. And how did your colleagues in the Air Force react to you? Some reacted uh, with generosity, some aggressively. But despite some initial hostility, this exhibition demonstrates how well black servicemen integrated within the RAF. One of the things that really comes across is the humour of the black pilots. If you look at this logbook here, the entry for VE Day reads May 8th, victory in Europe. Thank God. And now mine's a pint. In America, the Air Force was segregated, with black pilots serving only in their own squadrons. Their fight for equality has become the subject of a Hollywood movie. We have a right to fight for our country. But here in the UK, the role of our black airmen is much less well known. Because there were no uh, segregated units, because black airmen and airwomen were integrated within the Royal Air Force, um, in a way, uh, the, the very normality of that has meant it's not a sort of an exceptional story worthy of a Hollywood film. Uh, and that's why we feel this exhibition is so important, because uh, individuals did serve with distinction, and yet it's not well known. And when it comes to the First World War, even the experts aren't sure how many black pilots took part. The records list Caribbeans as British nationals and make no reference to race. This is the photograph and the index card for the pilot certificate of the first black pilot to fly for Britain. We didn't know about him until only a few years ago. And it was completely by accident. We have the Royal Aero Club's collection. They have these wonderful albums. And there was a black face. The RAF Museum is hoping this exhibition will prompt more hidden heroes to come forward. Ruth Banks, ITV News, Hendon. Three years ago, the London Army.